joining us this morning at 17 Newsmakers, Robin Paggi, and she's joining us to talk about vaccines and how it could affect your job after we saw the FDA advisory panel yesterday decide to go ahead and recommend emergency use approval. We could see vaccine rollout as early as next week. And Robin Paggi is a human resources expert, and she's joining us to talk about whether or not you can be required to get this. Robin, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Can your uh, employer require you to get this vaccine and uh, and fire you if you refuse? In general, employers are going to be allowed to require employees to get vaccinated. There are a couple of things that they need to be aware of, though. In California, we have the Fair Employment and Housing Act, and employers with five or more employees have to comply with it. A couple of protected classes in that act include disabilities and religion. And employers are required to accommodate people because of their disabilities and their religion if it is reasonable. And so that's one of the things that they're going to have to take into account is there are some employees who might not be able to get vaccinated because of a disability or medical condition or because their religion forbids it. And so they need to take that into consideration. Now, as far as whether they can fire people for not getting it, um, well, theoretically, yes, California is an at-will employment state, meaning that employers may fire people for any reason or no reason, as long as it's not any legal reason. But one of the things that they need to be careful about is what industry they're in. So that should be taken into consideration. Certainly people who work in industries of healthcare or retail or travel, working with elderly people or with young people, uh, a requirement would be reasonable. But for people who are working remotely, for the most part, a requirement might not be that reasonable. So there are a lot of things to consider. So in general, yes, employers may require it and they may fire people, but they need to take things into consideration before doing so. You said, you know, if it's reasonable or not reasonable, what if you think it's uh, not reasonable that you're required to get it, but your employer thinks it is? Well, one of the things with religious beliefs, um, a lot of times people think that other people's religious beliefs are not rational. Uh, but when you're an employer, you don't get to make that decision. And so they need to get on the EEOC website and find out more about religious accommodations because there's a whole lot that goes along with it. And so an employer doesn't need to believe what an employee believes as far as their religion goes in order to have to comply with it. And there have been a lot of lawsuits where employers fired people because they didn't think that the religious accommodation was necessary or practical or what have you. And and they ended up losing those lawsuits. So I strongly encourage to look for additional guidance. The EEOC website provides additional guidance when it comes to religious and uh, medical accommodations. All right, so what about tests? Uh, can your employer require you to get COVID-19 tests? Uh, yes, they may require uh, employees to get tested before returning to work, uh, especially if they have been uh, subjected to COVID or they have had it themselves. So they can require that. Can they require you to get tested on a regular basis? Um, well, if it uh, seems like there's a, a reasonable reason to do so. And so just uh, subjecting employees to tests uh, all of the time, if there's no good business reason for doing so, I don't think that is a good idea to do, especially I've had the test and it's not pleasant. And so uh, subjecting employees to that when there's no good business reason to do so is not in the employer's best interest. Okay, and so is your employer legally required to tell you if you've been exposed to the virus? Well, yes, they are required to let employees know, but they have to be careful because they don't want to expose people's health condition to other employees. So that's one of the things employers have to be careful that they safeguard employees' health information. And so they don't want to walk in and say, okay, this employee tested positive, so this is what we're going to do now. So they do have to let employees know that they were exposed, but they need to safeguard who they were exposed by. Okay, and then vice versa, how does that work? Are you required to tell your employer if you've been exposed or even if you have the virus? Yes. 
Yes, and that, that's one of the things is that um, when we have a pandemic, a lot of the rules that we normally comply with go out the window. And so employers can require employees to reveal when they have been exposed, uh, if they have contracted it, and uh, other things. So again, the EEOC and the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, uh, provides all of these guidelines for employers. They're excellent resources. I strongly encourage employers to download that information from those websites so that they can stay in compliance. All right, I know a lot of people have these questions right now. Robin, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. My pleasure. We'll be right back.